<laughs> Early morning before anyone's up in the house. I usually start my day reading my Bible and drinking some water with, well, this is like alkaline electrolyte water. I don't always get this with a probiotic powder in it. <clears throat> So that's how I start my day before anyone is awake. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. What's that? Praise, what's that? It's the yippee yahoo, way to go God. We have our morning uh, praise music and a little Bible time and a prayer before we get our day going. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, the beginner's Bible. This one is Chariot of Fire. No. It says towns, towns. Uh, those are bulls. You know what? This is the story about Dudes. Elisha and Elijah. A man, named Dude, 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 Dude. a man named Elijah was plowing in a field. Dude, 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 Dude. Is there a chicken in here? Dude, 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 Dude. Dude. God chose Elisha. Dude, 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 Dude. God chose Elisha to be Elijah's helper over the years. <laughs> over the years, they traveled together and they told many people about God's love. I know it. there was um, some roosters in this in the your first baby's Bible yesterday. For mommy, can I be two weeks right now? Okay. <clears throat> this is baby Jesus. Yeah, there was a chicken in there, a rooster or a hen or something. He was. That's right. He was born in a manger, and and the angels sang praises. God sent His Son from heaven above to show us His goodness and everlasting love. That's the birds. That's the birds. That's the bulls. <clears throat> yeah, birds. Birds are more can chirpy. Play, can you, play now, Mom? you want to pray? Okay, you go ahead and pray for us, Timmy. Pray for the family. Pray for everyone. Oh, thank you, Mom, that no more food wasting. I may say that we do not waste food. I may say that everyone is safe and stuff. It's just your point. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Are you going to have avocado toast with Daddy? Yeah. I see he's getting the avo ready. Yum, yum. Yummy to the tummy. <laughs> oh, it looks good. So the reason I just peel the oranges and put them in is because you don't want to use like orange juice or grape juice because it's dead. It's not living nutrition. The food's not alive. Also, you're missing out on the fiber. If you just juice something and you don't have the fiber, then you're getting a big um, spike in sugar or insulin. So you always want to keep the fiber intact. That's why blending is better than juicing, in my opinion. On days I'm not going to set, I'm doing a lot of food prep for the day. So baking zucchini will be the first thing. Then I'm going to boil some carrots and saute, water saute some kale for the upcoming meals. I'm gonna make a, a, homemade, a homemade soup this afternoon. So with Timothy's uh, very picky eating and the autism makes him not want textures, he won't eat fruits and vegetables. So I make him a different smoothie and Eli, and I put all kinds of vegetables in it. <sighs> so he gets them in and he doesn't know they're in there. So I'll put in like, I think I put in his pineapple and apples and I forget what else I put in there, but I put in spinach, I put in romaine, I put in tomatoes, I put in some cashews for some good fat. So I make his different than I make mine and he doesn't know that he's getting all his fruits and vegetables in because he's not, not wanting to eat them. 
How's the smoothie? Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? Well, it's not bad. Okay, just a couple sips left of this 32 ounces. I put the other half of the blender in the fridge for tomorrow. I'm gonna make some millet, whole hulled organic millet in my rice cooker, and that'll go with the soup I'm making this afternoon. Oh, key to success. I'm always listening to books on tape when I um, am doing kitchen work, when I'm cleaning the kitchen or putting laundry away or making food, I'm constantly improving my mind and um, I'm not just listening to music, I'm like learning, so key to success. I'll put a photo of the book I'm listening to right now in here. I'm gonna have Eli help me prep some potatoes for later. There you go. Look at that and cut, yeah, hold it like right here. So you have to learn how to hold the outsides of it and slip the knife through so you don't hurt your fingers. Yeah. It's so just a butter knife, but you see how good you're doing? So here, hold it like this. Let me show you. Hold it like that and then put, go like this. Mm. You got it? Oh, look at that. You're such a good helper. You want to cut another one? Oh, you want to, well, you don't want to have all these to cut at once. One. Okay. I'm going to have to cut some of these a little smaller pieces yeah. so we can make our home fries. Rice. Yeah. So two to three days a week, I like to send Eli to daycare. Um, there's like a preschool program where he gets to learn and interact with other kids because Timmy doesn't interact with them much. They're too far apart in age. So I'm just packing his lunch. I'm gonna pack, I made him a homemade organic peanut brown jelly sandwich with some veggie straws for a snack. Um, apple, cinnamon, go-go squeeze, organic. Some mac and cheese for supper, fig bars for another snack, and a couple organic drink boxes. Oh, and I always put either like a little thing of peaches or a banana or some kind of fruit in there as well. Even though he's had a smoothie today, I like to keep the healthy whole organic fruits coming in. Big boy likes to carry his own lunch box and his own diapers. Yes, that's a skate ramp. <laughs> Hubby skateboards. All right, we gotta put the car seat in my car. Say, I am ready for my day. I love you, my day. I am a child of God. Say, I am victorious. Say, I can conquer all. I will conquer all. You will conquer all. I Say, I am chosen. I am called. God loves me. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. That's a big word, huh? Say, I am ready for my day. Nothing can stop me. God loves me and wants me to succeed. All right, let's go. It's time to sing your song again Whatever may pass and whatever comes before me Let me be singing when the evening comes Here's your favorite part Bless the Lord, oh my soul Oh, oh my soul Worship his holy name. You're not in the mood for singing today? Okay. You about to start school? You finishing your breakfast? Yeah. And you're gonna do homeschool with Anna? Yeah. Good. So I'm gonna have some white tea and some pine needle tea. White tea is to give me a little kick it's got 20 milligrams of caffeine. Pine needle tea is more of a detox thing. Um, I'm honestly, I'm trying to kick the caffeine habit, but on days I write, sometimes I like that little extra brain boost, but it's not much. White tea only has 20 milligrams of caffeine. Green tea has 30. Black tea has 90. And coffee, no, no. Black tea, yeah. I got that wrong. 
White tea has 20 milligrams of caffeine. Green tea has 30 milligrams of caffeine. Black tea has 60 milligrams of caffeine. And coffee has 90 milligrams of caffeine. I can't be doing that or my heart's like So on days I work on my writing, sometimes I give myself a tea or sometimes I give myself some little bit of dark chocolate after I've done some writing. Okay, breakfast number two. This is polenta corn grits mixed with blueberries and I'm gonna put a little um, like maple syrup in it and some almond milk and that'll be enough to keep me going for a few hours until lunch. If you're wondering, this is the kind of corn grits I've been using lately. This is um, maybe every other day I switch this out with oatmeal. Some days I'm doing steel cut oats and some days I'm doing polenta. It tastes better than it looks. <laughs> so I'm thankful I have Anna now to help Timmy with his homeschooling five days a week. So I don't have to do it anymore. Been a huge blessing. Um, and she's really good. She's really gives him that st strictness that I sometimes am lacking. So it's really good for him. <laughs> and he's learning a lot. It's a, uh, it's much better than the environment he was at school. So while I eat my breakfast, I'm going to be working on my You Are Worthy course. Um, and I'm going to be going through it and deciding what words need to go on the screen and what you'll see when you watch it. Um, I've got 189 pages of content. So I'm going through one lesson at a time to decide which words will be up on the screen. So I'm in my office and today is a day for focus time. So I'm working on a new mini course called the three B's. I don't know if I'm gonna call it that, but there's three B's that I use to help eliminate all my excuses, drop my doubts and find my answers. So if you guys wonder like, how do I overcome obstacles and how do I get through these and what do I do when I don't know what to do? So I have three things that I do whenever I get stuck to help me get unstuck. So I'm putting together a mini course on that. I've been working on it um, for a few weeks now. Uh, so I will film that soon, but it's gonna be probably an hour, an hour and a half course and I'll just put it online and anybody who's not <clears throat> up for getting my whole big giant course, you are worthy. This one will be a, just a little touch on a topic on how to get unstuck. So I just sent all the notes to my uh, people involved in editing my worthy course. And now I'm moving on to work on this course about the three B's that I use to get unstuck. Looks like so far I have about 23 pages that I've written and <clears throat> it'll probably be up to 30 or 40 pages or more by the time I'm done. Another thing I do when I'm working is I have plan B's. So I have my schedule set up to do the most creative things of the day first. So I'm writing, I'm gonna do that before I do stuff that requires less, less creativity, less brain capacity. So um, I'll be writing this morning, hopefully this afternoon I'll be working with um, someone to help me go over my course. Um, but my plan B, if that person is unavailable to show up to be my sounding board, to read it to and to give me insight, wisdom, tell me how I can improve it, then I have this giant pile of paperwork that I've been avoiding. So usually I do paperwork on days Eli is home because I'm like having to watch him and back and forth. So that's like flex time. I'm flexible, I'm playing with the kids, I'm doing housework, I'm doing stuff like that. I'm flexible, I can get in paperwork here and there. But on focus time when Timmy's in his class with Anna and I'm got Eli and Kids Park, then I'm really trying to do stuff that requires my focus where I'm not constantly getting interrupted. Taking a little break from my writing to have some green juice. Um, sometimes I like to do that for a little pick-me-up. I don't know how effective these powders are, but sometimes I like to supplement them. This particular one, I don't know, it's got... Alfalfa leaf, carrot juice powder, spirulina powder, organic barley grass, Aloe vera, red raspberry, yucca, parsley, rose hips, 
ginger, watercress, all different kinds of stuff. Horsetail, beet, areola, berry juice, flaxseed, spirulina. I already said that. I guess they have two kinds. Siberian ginseng. <clears throat> I have like three or four different kinds of green powder. I honestly don't know if they do anything, but I'm doing my best to stay healthy. <clears throat> so what do you got, Timmy? You're trying something new? I hate noodles. They're disgusting. No, okay. You eat pasta. You've eaten spaghetti before. Give it a try. Mm. You've got a veggie burger. Come on. No, no, Come no. On. Try a little bit. Timmy, you have to try new things, okay? I don't want to try new things. Come on. Give it a try. I want to see. I want to see how you like it. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Timmy. No, 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 no. A little bit, okay. More. Timmy, little, I will add an extra dollar onto your allowance Ooh, if you try I this. I want it, I want it, I want it. Come on, <clears throat> try. No! A little more. It's only spaghetti. It's only spaghetti. Fine. There you go. It's a spaghetti. <laughs> That's not okay. Don't That's not okay. okay. And this is what we go through whenever we try to get Timmy to eat something new or to eat vegetables or fruit, anything yeah. like that. It's an everyday struggle. We have been through, you can hear him still complaining. We have been through all different programs to help him desensitize him, give him incentives, help him try different textures. We've been to OT, many, many sessions, but every day is a fight to try to get him to eat healthy. Okay, I got my soup, homemade soup for lunch. Um, I've got the kale, the carrots, the millet, is in there. I've got green beans, diced tomatoes. What else? I added potatoes that we were cutting up earlier. Um, and then I'm gonna add just a little salt and pepper and some acidophia. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It looks like this. And this is like a substitute for onion. Since I can't really eat garlic and onions, this kind of gives a kind of an oniony flavor. All right, I'm having a working lunch break since uh, Anna's with Timmy helping him making his lunch and Eli's gone. I'm going to keep working while I eat my big bowl of soup. And then I'm also eating Timmy's veggie burger because he yes. said he didn't like the texture and he's refusing to eat his veggie burger. So here I go. Taking another little break from writing. Um, the last couple of days I felt like I'm coming down with a cold. I have like sore throat and I can... <clears throat> some mucus so I don't normally have this every day but I'm having a multivitamin packet it says it's for immune function muscle and joint capacity caffeine free gluten free natural flavors um, I started getting these to try to get my kids to drink water because they just you know get them off juice so <clears throat> I'm having some of that and I'm doing a little meal prep for supper tonight or even for tomorrow, I'm making two cups of organic brown rice in the rice cooker. And then I'm also prepping some yams. If I don't have those tonight, I'll have those tomorrow. Now, back to the writing. I don't take vitamins or anything, but there is some herbs that I sometimes take. I have an iridologist, <clears throat> a natural doctor, an ND. And um, last time I saw him, he did a reading of my eyes. Look into iridology if you want to look that up. Um, they can tell you what's going on in your body by how your eyes look. So last time I was there, he prescribed me um, parasite, which helps, parasite helps get rid of intestinal parasites because I've been having some digestive issues. Um, he also prescribed me Uraclear, which helps with the uric acid in the bladder, kidneys, and urinary tract. And these are all just all natural herbs, vegan capsules, um, and blood tone. And this is like a blood purification formula. So I'm having those with like my multivitamin water to continue on the rest of the afternoon. Oh, and you know the probiotic I said I was taking this morning? I said there's another thing you take with lunch. So I'm trying out this bio cleanse from Plexus. And it says it helps cleanse the intestinal tract, reduces gas and bloating and GI discomfort. Because so I've been having some like digestional stuff where I'm 
not able to eat certain foods without issues. So this is what I'm taking one or two of these before meals. And then I'm taking a couple of these before bed. Same company. It says it restores balance, keeps the intestinal yeast in balance, supports healthy intestinal tract, and supports healthy digestion. So we'll see. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in some of the videos, my tummy looks a little puffy. And that's because I'm having some digestive issues. The doctor thinks I may have IBS. I don't know. Maybe that's TMI, but... I'm trying to get it underway naturally because when the doctor first told me about it, he put me on this diet to get rid of certain things to help with digestion, but he also prescribed me something. And one of the side effects was like it caused blurry vision or it caused loss of vision. And I thought to myself, I would rather have a puffy stomach than have like lose my vision. So <laughs> I try to stick to all natural herbs. So that's, oh, that's what I'm doing with this kind of stuff instead of the prescribed pharmaceutical stuff. So this is my buddy Vince, and he helps me with my writing. He's my, like, biblical scholar friend who also knows grammar really well. So when I get stuck, I ask him what to do, and he helps me, oh, this verse needs to be interpreted differently, or... I've studied this verse in the Greek and the Hebrew, and it means this and that. So when I'm teaching you guys in my courses, I always want to make sure that what I'm saying is backed up accurately. And um, he also keeps me on track with my grammar. I was going to eat something healthy for supper. I swear I was. <laughs> I was going to have the sweet potatoes or the rice. But um, Timothy's uh, caregiver, she accidentally made my, my special pizza I had as a treat. So I figure I better eat it while it's hot. I got this new kind to try. It's dairy-free and gluten-free cheese pizza. So it's already made, so what can I say? I'm gonna have a couple pieces. <clears throat> I probably would have loaded it with veggies, tomatoes and stuff like that, but she didn't. Not bad. If you're craving pizza, not bad. Good source of fiber, it says, plant-based, dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free. Yeah, it's not bad. I just tend to eat more whole foods whenever possible. But maybe I will have some sweet potatoes after this. And Timmy and I are eating pizza together and we're watching Garfield. <laughs> So Rob has been working from home ever since COVID started. <laughs> Got pizza in my teeth. I meant to go in and sneak some video of him working in his home office in the garage, but I guess he got done early today because I hear him skateboarding. So we're gonna sneak some footage of him skateboarding. This is his good friend, Jeremy. He comes over a couple times a week and they skate this thing. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh, epic wipeout. <laughs> Another epic wipeout. If you're not falling, you're not doing it right. <laughs> ah, nice. Nice one. Ooh, good one. And you see, we got a new washer and dryer since we shot the uh, home video. We got a brand new washer and dryer. <clears throat> this is Rob's skateboard bench he made. And this is his office where he does his work. <clears throat> All right, I might be hungrier than I thought. I'm having two more pieces. <laughs> so I usually try to have a salad for dinner too. Um, but on days I don't feel like doing all the chopping and more really, I don't feel like doing all the chewing. 
love a salad. I make, it's my shortcut. Pro tip, I make a salad smoothie. I'll have to shake this up again. So I basically take my salad and I put it in the blender and then I can get all my healthy vegetables in without having to sit there and chew and chew and chew for an hour. So this is like romaine, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, and bell pepper. So <clears throat> I had my pizza, four slices. Now I'm gonna have my salad smoothie. And then if I want something sweet, I might have some um, sweet potatoes. So my editor sent me the next um, portion of my course that I'm having edited. And I'm gonna watch it and approve it and let them know if there's any t tweaks that need to happen. Um, I'll let you see a couple clips. I'll let you see a couple clips from it. You have no idea what's going on. <laughs> this is about how your posture makes you powerful and all the studies that support it. I'll show you other clips of other lessons in a minute. Okay, moving on to review the next lesson. I'm having a bowl of sweet potato with cinnamon and brown sugar. What would your life be like if you could see yourself the way God sees you? If you could look at yourself and feel nothing but the deepest love, how much grace would you extend to yourself when you mess up? Hmm. Would you put yourself down all the time and constantly point out all the... Could you embrace yourself? I want to get you ready for yes. what will be that God has for you. So you have wondering if I made a mistake. Maybe a bit of thick grief. Try to avoid letting tears come out. The right? in this course, you're going to find out why God believed it was worthwhile to create you. Amen to that. And Timothy is playing video games, which he likes to do after supper, after schoolwork is done. Did you get all your homework done? What'd you learn today? Typical kid answer. I don't know. <laughs> And what I'm doing is more paperwork. Um, a friend of mine passed away about a year ago and she made me one of the executors to her will. I had no idea. So I've been dealing with probate and all this court stuff for over a year, going over her will, trying to figure out what to do with everything, all her wishes and following it to a T. And it's very, very time consuming. Um, so I was working on that tonight in between approving my course stuff and I have to get I have to go get Eli soon okay as a busy mom with tons of stuff to do I have to multitask so I'm going to be reviewing the next lesson would you believe me I'll be reviewing my next lesson and whatever changes need to be made while I get my exercise in I bought this mini trampoline and um, it's fun because it's it's like an activity you can do while you're, you know, watching TV or, you know, whatever. But it's a good, good way to have some fun exercise. How was your day? Have you got a dinosaur? It's kind of dark. We can't really see your dinosaur. You want to show? You want to show the picture you made? <laughs> he made a ghost. Ooh. How was your day? Kind of fun. It was kind of fun? Oh, good. Did you learn anything? Yeah. What'd you learn? I played some toys. I played some dinosaur toys. You played with some dinosaur toys? That's awesome. 
You ready to go home and see your brother and daddy? Yeah. Okay. We're just Kiss. sitting on the couch watching some Darman videos. Just me and my boys. It's little guy's turn for bath time. You playing? You playing? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> now you all clean? <laughs> I got a mask on my face. In case you're wondering. I try to do a mask a couple times a week. <laughs> um, I don't usually do it though. Uh, today I used a combination of this 100% pure, you, you sad about something? Uh, Clarity cleanser mask and I combined it with this creamy hydrating mask. I think he wants his jammies on. We better do that. <clears throat> Hello. Brush your teeth. It's time for bed. And do really good. Do really good here. Remember how you're getting gunk filled up here? You do really good on your gums. I like to swallow my toothbrush. Don't swallow your toothpaste. Sorry, Mom. You're supposed to brush it on your teeth. Do this top ones like this. Really good. <clears throat> do the top one. Okay. So, I don't really have a skincare routine anymore like I used to. I just try different stuff out whenever it's like on sale at the health food store. Um, Witch Hazel is what I've been using for like toner, astringent lately. 
and I just got these. They were on sale. I went to 100% Pure, which is a store I like to go to to get all natural, vegan, organic stuff, not tested on animals, and <clears throat> doesn't have gross ingredients. I got this, um, I haven't tried, I tried it once, Retinol Restorative Overnight Balm and Retinol Restorative Neck Cream. I don't think I've ever tried products with retinol in. I don't even know what it does. It's supposed to be anti-aging, I guess. Natural, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, non-toxic. So that's what I've been using the last couple days. <clears throat> I don't know. I need to get a actual skincare routine that I'll follow. Sometimes mom life, I don't. So you're wondering, how come we didn't see your morning face routine? Did you forget to film it? No, I just didn't do anything. I just woke up and started my day. I didn't even come in the bathroom and look at my face or wash it or do anything. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how busy I am. Timothy fell asleep. Oh. Hey. Sorry, did I wake you? I made some upset. You know what I'll be doing. <laughs> well, you fell asleep on my couch. Do you want to go to your own bed? Mm-hmm. Eli's having a little cuddle time with Daddy while he eats his soup and watches, what are we watching? Ancient, ancient Aliens. And I'm going to do some stretching. One of them is the planet Mars. There's an almanac near the end of the book that breaks up days into 10 groups of 78 days, equaling 700 red planets. Dad and Auntie were using Mars. All right, sweetheart, you want to say your prayers? No, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Dear God, please protect my boys. Keep them safe. Uh, keep all danger away from them. Prepare their lives and their future. Prepare the friendships that they will have, the relationships, their family, whatever future jobs they will have, and keep them from all harm that may come their way protect our house our finances and all of our loved ones in jesus name i pray amen all right i'm going to bed i am exhausted um it's like 10 15 i started my day at 6 a.m rob's still up watching his ancient alien show <laughs> uh, but i'm gonna go to sleep he's a night owl I'm the early bird. I'm up usually two hours before him, um, sometimes 5, 5.30, 6. Um, so that's my vlog at home. I've never done this. So you tell me if you want more of these. Was this helpful? Was this interesting? What do you want to see more of? I kind of showed a little bit of everybody in the day. Um, leave your comments below and let me know what you want to see more of. Have a good night. Hey there, it is Katherine Norland. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys think that this video would bless somebody else or that they need to hear it, please hit the share button. And there's a little bell button too where you can be notified whenever I have a video that comes out so you don't miss a thing. I appreciate you guys. Remember always live true, love hard, shine bright, and I will see you in the next video.